Go! Let's go! First match between Dandy and Tego. Holy moly. And there is even a lag, so Blizzard is here. Okay, but I, I believe players can start playing now. And I've added a special emoticon for subscribers. Uh, thank you, whole bit, whole wheat bit for hosting my channel. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. Hello, pit guys, pit boys, pit, pit fans. I've added a meticon for subscribers, so, so if you, if you want to subscribe, you will have your own BSL logo in the chat. I'm not sure if it's something, but Twitch told me that I should do it, so, so I did. <laughs> okay, let's start the game. Then deal with, with a Protoss in the top left position. Uh, playing Dendy is a Terran player, but he's playing Protoss against Terran, but he because he don't like to waste time on Terran versus Terran. At least this is how I explain this cho cho choice for me. So then Dendy is on the top left position, and Terran is in the bottom right position. So both of them are far away from each other. So maybe we can see some. Fast Expo Shenanigans, let's see what they prepared for today because they were facing each other yesterday and Dandy won 3-0. So this is this is something uh, this is something um, called the rematch. And I believe this sound for, for sounds from StarCraft should be working better today. Just let me know. A whole with Pete, Smiley Lab. Mm. I will later probably, but I don't know what that means. What what that means? I mean, what I know what to how how to smile about schlep, but I don't know what what do you mean by smile schlep? <laughs> okay, so then this starting with a, a standard opening. The, there was no pylon into fast nexus. This is the gateway into cybernetic core. And Tegor is uh, also trying to make a wall. He lost the first game uh, against Dendi. Uh, so, uh, when, by doing the gateway in the middle. So right now, I believe Tegor wants to be prepared on these circumstances. And, and, and this is the good choice. You need to build the wall just to be safe. This my one marine could kill three zeros at least. So, so what will Dandy and Tego do? This uh, part of the game is pretty standard. Both of them being on cross position, it it might mean that that they will play a little bit more macro game than than usually. Hmm. Scouting from Terror should be denied and right now Dandy does have no have no idea what is Terror doing. We see that he is mining gas from with free SCVs, so it might be something uh, something else than Expo because he's hiding his marine. He wants to push with this one fact uh, one fact tanks. I believe the tank uh, is producing here and what he will do in the in the in the machine shop. He have a gas and money for siege mode, but let's see what he will spend money for. Yeah, and the probe died, so so then they will have no idea. Oh yeah, he will have idea what will going to happen when when Tego will move out. And right now. Dandy is taking the expansion, so one gate expansion from Dandy, one gate goons. He will want, he will uh, try to stop Terror's force. But right now, he went a little bit uh, too 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 far away, and thanks to being in the range of the Terran units, this dragon is a little bit damaged. 
let's see what Taylor will do. I probably he's making minus over here. So Oh no, this is the second tank, so it might be push. He he might try to push because uh, two tanks can and and five marines can easily kill three dragons. Then he should work on that and try to micro them as much as he can because he have only one gateway, so there is not a lot of production possibilities. He need to respect his dragons as much as he can. Yeah, and one of my friends told me to put stack after music on. Do you think this is better with StarCraft music? Because when I'm casting alone, there are times when I'm not saying anything and uh, and the music is, is making the climate for the stream. Let's see. Let, let me know this. This Dragoon is really hurt. He should focus this Dragoon because only two Dragoons will not be able to do anything. And this Dragoon went to the focus fire of, of Terror and right now Terror is doing huge damage to the, to the dandy economy. He's, yeah, he is killing the probes. Nice catch with the props, but will he be able to defend it? These dragons are not really hurt, but yeah, the siege mode is done. The mines are here. The observatory is just uh, on the way, so he will not have ops in time. And right now he will be closed in his base. Oh my god, this, this mine exploded. Then he's trying to do what he can. And Teru is already... Uh, Mining from his expansion, so he's not really behind in the economy. Of course, then they have a little bit um, had his expansion a little bit earlier, but but not uh, not that significantly that it would change a lot. The second tank is here. We can see that Terror wants and likes to do the uh, contain style when he's pushing the Protoss and he likes to close the Protoss and third tank, let's see what is going to happen he have engineering base so he's afraid of the of, of some kind of Dark Templars maybe he wants to target up his main uh, against possible Weavers I'm not sure if this is a good idea to leave these tanks over here right now he might be trying to evacuate these units to his main base because Oh, he's still producing marines because this is really um, these tanks are really open to, to 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 shuttle drop on them. Let's see what then they will do. This time, forward forward gateways is a lot of a lot of uh, production possibilities for Dandy, so he might uh, he might over macro terror in a second because he have only two factories. Let's see what will happen. The shuttle is in the game. And the turrets are also here. And turrets will be perfectly on the time. Good evening, Henry Polk. 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 Yeah, Angry Polk. And there is a speed shuttle, so he will be able to. to yeah, he will be able to put these zealots on the. Good position, but right now Terror sniped the Zealots and four tanks left, so these Dragons will not be able to push this uh, this, this contain any further than a than, uh, few centimeters. And yeah, there is a river. Angry Pavel, okay. <laughs> There is a bunker, there are four marines, bunker is extremely powerful against Protoss, but there is also a river loop, so let's see if we river will be able to uh, to intercept some damage for fifth gateway, and Dandy is doing the counter attack, he, he was doing that in the last game on Tau Cross, when he was able to uh, recall... Um, make recall into the Terror Ops main and thanks to that great recall he came back to the game which looks terrible for him so right now this container is, looks, is looking extremely 
uh, comfortable for Tego, and I believe he's feeling really good with that, but this game is definitely not done. But after seeing these Dragoons, maybe uh, Tego should push uh, a little bit further, because there are only 6 Dragoons here. And then he's trying to intercept reinforcements. And if this Nexus will go down, this will be a huge loss for Dandy. So let's hope. Uh, let's if you are chewing for Dandy, let's hope that he will be able to defend it. But it looks like he will not be able to do it. Two tanks is a lot of damage fire. It looks like he have not enough units uh, just to kill this contain right now. But he's trying to do it. He understands that losing this expansion will mean that. He will have to lose this game, and this river is trying to focus fire. He killed two tanks, these tanks who were in range of the Nexus. So for a second he saves his Nexus, but there are four tanks left for Terror. So this situation is extremely difficult still for, for our dandy um, Protoss player. And this Dragon and, and Shuttle, he might do something with it. Terror is afraid of this. Oh my god, will this... Yeah, this mine exploded, but he didn't deal enough damage. And it looks like Tego will be able to do it. We need to see. Yeah, D GG, 1-0 for, for Tego. So, we saw that there was 3-0 for Dendi in last best of 5. And this series starts with 1-0 lead for Tego. Without securing that, that, that expansion. So, yeah, nice 1-0. Uh, when we start 0, I, I, if I may suggest... Yeah. Maybe you want to increase both sounds and music by one tick in in, in the options. Uh, in StarCraft? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Both sounds and both music by one. And uh, yeah, maybe this will be a bit better. And let's hope chat will let us know. Uh, then I, I love StarCraft music. I, I, I know that players that are casting like you, you don't like to cast with music on, but then StarCraft music is making me uh, really nostalgic. And my race is Protoss. Protoss, yeah. So the game number two? Yeah, then game number two on Secret Breakers. So it means uh, that Dandy wants to play a macro game because this is definitely a macro map. And look at the probe. Probe is leaving the main, so he wants to do something sneaky. Exactly. <laughs> Seems. He either wants to go maybe, oh, let's see, let's see. Will he make a pylon in the middle of the map? Will it be a proxy to gateway? Let's see what 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 he will do. He did it yeah, exactly. first game uh, in the last best of five series. He this went so ballsy, you are losing 1-0 and you are going for a proxy. That's, that's really something. Yeah, but uh, in the last series he he won the first game with this kind of proxy, uh, so so maybe he is feeling extremely secure with that. And as we can see, Tego did uh, did make wall in first game, and over here maybe it is not so easy to make a pro proper wall. So maybe this is the reason why Dendi chose this map and wants to do this kind of strategy. Okay, but he will not find his opponent uh, that quickly. He is going for the. Uh, wrong spot and even after that he will go to the opposite side of the map but on but still on the bottom so he will be a little though that first zealot will come a little bit late he will have to uh, guess or he will wait for at least two zealots maybe uh, but no he wants to go there as fast as possible because he doesn't want uh, he wants to get those zealots up on the ramp before uh, uh, be, be, before it is blocked. Uh, yeah, and this is this is a timing attack. Every second matters right now. So he wants to do uh, as uh, this zealot as quickly as possible. And we can see that he is already preparing himself oh, for, for transition. It. He will find it. Oh my God, Terror! Yeah, out. he found he out there is a gateway. What will he do? What sh sh shall he do right now? He should put supply be be between uh, between factory and the barracks. Pull yeah. SCVs, like put two free SCVs uh, on the ramp, put marine be behind it and block that ramp as fast as possible. But thanks to putting the supply depot in this spot, he can go between the supply and barracks, and Zilot will be not be able to fit over there. So he will want. To... But this Zilot sneaks through the STV oh. wall. But yeah, like you said, the supply oh. depot is the backup strategy. Oh. 
he micro that marine very very good and this probe <laughs> is trying to, to 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 punish this marine one of yeah. them died so this is something backup strategy with dancing around the supply depot will be very important those scvs will yeah. will kill them all the, the the wielding skills of those scvs but zilops the, those zilops will keep coming and soon they will change into dragons so <laughs> yeah, they will because the cybernetic score is done already. So right now, this killing the CSTV is really something because he is able to put some pressure on Dandy and still uh, still uh, focus on uh, taking into dragons in the same time. But Vulture is on the way and there is no dragon, so this situation is pretty hard for Dandy right now. Exactly, but uh, if uh, he will switch to dragons. Dragons will win with versus Vultures. He was forced to start with a Vulture. He would probably prefer to start with a with, with a Dragon. But yeah, that uh, that proxy attack will probably not uh, work out for Dendi. He will have to uh, switch to defense right now. Terror is looking for him. He wants to put some pressure with the Vulture. He will be. He's not upgrading anything in the machine shop so far. He's only uh, pushing out units. So probably first tank will will show up. But where is this vulture going in that direction? And he's this... scouting. He doesn't know where his opponent is. He didn't. He only found out the the gateway in the middle, and then he went back. So he doesn't oh. really know it. But look at Dandy Dragon. It looks like, like both of them have map hack, uh, and Terror is going to the, uh, the bottom right position. I'm not sure why and. Then he was trying to catch this vulture. And well, this he doesn't push. want to lose those dragons. Yeah. And he doesn't want to put off. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose these dragons and he don't want to let a vulture uh, pass into his main expansion because he have only one dragon defending. Exactly. All, every dragon comes right now or he will or, or he will be contained like in the last game. He lost a lot of units in the beginning, so he should be switching to the defense right now. And, and the most important fact, aggressive, I think. the most important fact with this strategy is that Dendi does not have a range to the dragoons. So this is really hard oh. to make her. Oh, yeah, that probe died uh, against the mine. Oh yeah, he wants to defend that gateway very much. He he, he doesn't want to lose that gateway, but. The third has oh, mines. Oh, yeah, what a mine! Exactly in the dragoon, which was standing in the middle. So oh, all the splash damage came in. Looking horribly for terror, for Dandy. Sorry, terror. Will he take revenge for for yesterday? Apparently so. Yeah, it, it looks like he's he's doing everything all right. He defended the one gate, but he found it in the time. So let's see. Oh, the mine drag. Okay, it didn't work. So it then he could he had the chance to defend this. He could go back to defense. He could just block that those 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 those, those two bridges. Um, he he went a little bit too aggressive after his proxy didn't work out. He could switch the strategy. Right now he needs observers very very fast and he needs well, he needs a lot of stuff to defend this. Yeah, and this will be the another situation when the, when Terror is putting contain in front of uh, Protoss main. He really likes that kind of style. Well, it is very effective. Yeah, it's very effective. Especially here, where you have Cleave, uh, when we can siege up your tanks, and another dragon falls. But the tank contain is very aggressive because you still keep doing damage with siege up tanks. You can uh, just shoot that Nexus from afar. Uh, so yeah, that's that's much more effective than like Protoss or Zerg contains. Yeah, for sure. The tanks are are extremely good units in attacking and the same in defending. So so this range attack is really helping with that. And then they got he 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 got like the most OP unit in the game, which is Vulture, of course. Oh, so, yeah. so there are so many good things going on for Terra right now. But Dendi, uh, somehow he, he, he was managed to, did, to do expansion, so he's not far away in economy. All he needs to do is defend this contain and 
he he will be good to 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 go into the later stage of this game. Well, Terror will be slowly building up his tank count, and he will be slowly moving more closer and closer to to his uh, enemy's base. At the same time, Dandy will be building his unit counts as well. He needs uh, he needs an observer. He's got one, uh, but there is a turret, so he needs to defend that observer, and he does it. He's yeah. going. He wants to break it. I don't know if he's ready for it. Yeah, it was close, but maybe this was the, the best situation just to break it because uh, with the time, uh, when the time there is going, units, yeah, yeah the, the the tank uh, number was incre was increasing. So maybe it was the best time to attack to put some pressure and at least he killed one vampire. Exactly, and the terror was trying to. Oh, he, he, he is focusing that tank as he is wielding it, uh, it will not do it. Nice mines at the last moment. And he really wanted to kill that SCV. He he doesn't want that turret to come up, but it will. It will yeah. kill that, that observer. Rescue that observer, man. Come on. Yeah, it is this, It is something Save like in, in Zerg versus Protoss when you have a spore colony and you won't let observer to see all lurkers. This turret is working exactly the same. He don't want to see. Uh, oh, he do, he don't want to let uh, Dandy to kill these mines from from the range. He wants to uh, detonate it with his units. Very very nice uh, things from Dandy. Really, if you are a Protoss in the in uh, like like pushed so far back into defense, the Dandy is doing it right. But he just doesn't have enough units. Yes, just the guns are really hard to do anything against mines and bunkers uh, with SCVs which can repair it and Terror is uh, uh, understanding is it perfectly so he's making a little step forward with every bunker. And when 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 there will be more tanks and tanks are coming, it will be over. Right now he only has two, two tanks, the third tank will siege up and yeah. He needs he needs speed on those zealots right now. He needs a shuttle. He needs more 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 units. Yeah, I'm looking at that, and these zealots are making tanks to splash damage his own uh, bunker. So maybe some one great mind drag would do done. it. But this is done. Two O for Tego. Ex he wanted. I'm sure he he was watching the replays Tego versus Pratos all night uh, all day and was preparing for this. Uh, <laughs> Seems so, seems so, but really, I got to point out, Dandy's defense was really, really good. He, he was very aggressive with his defense, uh, but he was really, he was active in the defense. This is something that's that's always very important. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's not like that Terror is winning by some lucky strategy. He's doing everything all right. I'm, I'm well, really impressed. Well... It was Dandy's proxy on that map, so yeah, he he reacted perfectly when he would try to break up. So yeah, yeah but there was exact situation like you are mentioning right now in the first game when they will make a contain and putting small steps forward just to be in range in that nexus, and he was, and this was the time to attack yeah. for Dandy, and this was GG. So. Yeah, well, this is the last moment when you can actually do something. So, everything uh, until that time would be to build up to the to, to the break uh, br to the break attempt. But uh, it's it, it if it an, ends up like it did, and we got a two lead for for terror, which is uh, for some this might be a surprise. Yeah, it, it looks like as a surprise because both of these players were playing in a bombastic show match and then they won. Then they were playing in winners bracket semifinals and then they won also. So right now leading to all for terror is something big and he's showing us that there is no luck and, and there is no... Um, he deserved to be in the spot that he is. This is the top three for sure in bombastic star three season. Well... In the finals, we got the Devold, am I right? Yeah, in the finals, Devold is waiting for a winner of this of this matchup, so it will be Protoss versus Tergan also. But because Dandy is playing Tergan against Protoss, he's uh, he's choosing um, um, races against specific race, which is rare on that level of play. Yeah, this is rare, but 
I'm, I'm not sure why or why he went for that and I, I, I wasn't sure that he will be uh, on this creative level of Protoss until I saw how well is he playing with this Protoss. So I'm not sure how he is training against Terran in these days in ladder because you need to choose your race and if you choose Terran and you will have your opponents as a Terran, you need to play this TBT and he is like 3000 MML so I'm sure he knows how to play Terran versus Terran and even that he's choosing Protoss uh, in this tournament for, for cash, so he needs to feel uh, really, really secure and, and, and safe with this, with this Protoss. Well, there might be another story here, because those two players come from the same country, and I believe, just like we in Poland uh, have practice partners from, from Poland, I believe those guys are, are, are practicing together quite often. I don't know them personally, I actually never even talked with them, uh, because they are new players for me as an as an old returning player to to, to Brood War, uh, but I, I I believe they are practicing very very often together. So maybe they just know, and 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 he feels that against this particular opponent because he plays against him often, he knows that this is the better pick for him. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Tego Tegan versus Tegan is so well so so good that he 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 didn't want to risk. And both of them went for his fast expansion, so... Yeah, but then they went for the mineral only. Yeah, this is a little bit safer option, it looks like. Much safer option. Well, he is losing to oh, he's one game away from going out from the tournament, so... Uh, he's got the the guaranteed uh, price already, but he wants to get more more cash, so... So, by winning this game, Tego... Terror is earning money. He, he he just needs to win this this particular game, and he will he will earn. Uh, I believe um, sixty dollars. Okay, we've got the mineral only expansion up and running, but there are no probes yet. He was a little bit late with transferring his probes. Yeah, a little bit late, and Terror is and, started and... Uh, started to mining gas from his expansion because. The uh, assimilator is blocking his uh, gas in the main base. And the second gateway is already going up. Yeah, so this gas delay might be something. Will he go for a quick zealot? Like, like just keep pumping zealots from, from two gateways? He went for the mineral only, not for the, for the regular natural with gas, so... He may want to focus on Leon on, on Miral units for a moment. He is upgrading Dragon range, of course. Yeah, but I think he will make Dragoons, but the question is when he will decide to make another expansion, because if you would like to play on two expansions, you really would like to have this expansion natural only, not only because it have gas, but also it have much, uh, not much, two more mineral patches. So. This is like 40% of mining more for uh, for a player. This is also really relevant. Very nice reaction from Terror to seeing those two gateways. He did put a bunker in front of his natural. So there is a defensive option available for him. Yeah, and these barracks are blocking really sensibly uh, to not let uh, Dragons to pass this bunker and go into the main base. Exactly. Soon, when the Dragon range will be finished, uh, he will start shooting uh, at, that, at that bunker from a safe distance because those Dragoons will outrange that bunker. So, Terror will have to commit. And STVs, STVs. STV is coming into the Dandy main base, so he will sh see everything probably. Yeah, he's, he will yeah, see that there is no Dark Tempters. Doesn't care that he scouted the dragon just went straight by. Yeah, this dragon went. Okay, you kill you you guys kill this STV. I'm going to the battlefield. Or he's just so sure about him, uh, about his macro. But look at the macro dragon of Terror. Dragon range is done. So he will put pressure on this bunker, and Terror is making another command center. Is almost done. So he really wants to put. Extremely, extremely big macro Terran and show us how well macro game can he play. Tank is out. Siege mode is not re not yet ready, but he can shoot from from the cliff. He will yeah. need one more SCV on the bunker. No, he's going for the supply. 
Yeah, but all this 5 SCV is not mining, so this is a little bit of pressure. Oh, he's going for the SCVs. Now, he killed one of them, but uh, in the cost of really healthy Dragon. With 6 Dragons, he can kill a CV with one full barrage of those of those six dragons because a CV needs to take hit, take six hits from dragons to die. So yeah, this but is the exact number to kill SCVs. I I thought he would stick around a bit longer, but no, he's very careful this time. He's not as aggressive as in the previous games, so this is definitely something different. Because so there, there might be uh, a star point, so he's afraid of some kind of drop, probably. And he will probably try to kill these two buildings, which are uh, covering the area, the cliff, uh, over his natural expansion power generators. That's what he's doing right now. Because it would be really hard to kill them when the tanks would be on, uh, on this cliff area. And... What do you think Dendi should do in the longer game? Do you think Kyrus is the way on this map uh, because there is an island expansion or maybe he should just try to make extremely macro game just as Trevor is trying to do? There are so many possibilities on this map because you can just go for a, for like a, like e e even a storm drop like on that, on that mineral only expansion from below is possible so uh, there are many many possibilities for him here. He is expanding very well. He will go for a for a very long macro game. So yeah, we we might see carriers. We might see carriers because he is expanding on the bottom left. Uh, he's adding a lot of gateways. So yeah. he's leaving. He's leaving his options open. But I believe Terran have possibility to just max out on these three bases and went and crash Protoss Iron Me in the middle. So. Let's see, because Taylor, I'm sure that he will be able to macro with at least 8 factories from all these three bases, so this 8 factories from Terran is extremely dangerous. Well, on micro maps, you can always, as a Terran, you can just always sit back, enjoy your your turtling, and <laughs> go for 2 1 upgrades, and then go out of the base, like you said. Uh, he's perfectly fine for a little bit longer, uh, especially he, that he doesn't know about the base on the bottom left. Uh, I believe he thinks he's against he he's equal on expansions right now, so um, so he will feel comfortable about that. Um, so he it, it, it's very unlikely for Terror to to do anything aggressive right now. Like you said, we'll probably sit back and enjoy the show for now. Uh, but the, so Dandy will be the, the, the aggressive aggressor. side. Yeah, and there are eight factors almost done for Terror, so this macro will be huge. And there are also seven gateways from Dandy, so so this will be for sure a nice macro game. Staggered is already done, so Arbiter's Tribune, I believe this is the name of this uh, tribunal. Yep. And so arbiters will be will be also soon in this game. Uh, let's hope we see a recall. Not kind of forgotten. <laughs> we see much more carriers these days than, than than recalls actually. Yeah, carriers like maybe because Draco went back to Starcraft and he have a very special talent toy. And people <laughs> were thinking that maybe they they would like to have this talent toy too. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Bonif also loves his, uh, his carriers, so yeah. So if oh, our he, best Protoss players out. are liking carriers, there needs to be something with it. So maybe very, this... very nice foreshadowing from, from, from Dandy to block that ramp with two, with really only two Dragons. And uh, this is something uh, that's very important because those Vulture runbys on your, on your faraway expansions, they can kill so many probes. You need to be prepared to counter that. Simply two dragons, you saved yourself so many probes. Yeah, you have a bow, two, two options. You can put two dragons on the ramp, and or you can make a pylon wall. It it could it should also save you, but it don't it, it is vulnerable to the drop because you don't have a uh, opportunity to save reinforcement, send reinforcements to, to to defend this drop. So these dragons are better in this situation. 
Chris Arbitre will be out very, very soon. Second Stargate is up. Even more gateways added in Dandy's base. So he will be now on 12 gateways. Soon he will probably add. Yeah, he is adding even more on the on the bottom left uh, expansion and terror is going out look this is the 11 minute of the game and this army looks oh my god it looks terrifying if i yeah, would be brothers i would be dead a little bit down on he he would want to have more more upgrades and one upgrade in attack for the protoss just kicked in but he will be he will have to be very very careful right he, now he needs to evacuate these probes because all of them will die with one shot of these tanks and he scanned the expansion probes will be dying where is the arbiter i i thought it will be there on time i, I i'm surprised then they could uh, engage those tanks very very quickly there were not enough mines yet uh, he was not putting mines and and he, and he was in a position to to go in with the zealots right now, he is very, very reinforced here. So it's it. It will be hard to engage now. He needs he he have to wait uh, until uh, until there are unseizures all those tanks. And the arbiter is up. Yeah. So maybe he was waiting for arbiter because he hesitated with this attack for a moment and it made revenge on him. Well, and he doesn't have the energy for the stasis yet. Yeah, and he's going with all the army. Oh, but he's he, he's all sitched up. Yeah, this will be really hard for Dandy to oh, break this position. Those zealots just disappeared. Yeah. All those zealots died instantly. And so many tanks left. Ten tanks on siege with plus one 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 upgrade. Sorry, one one upgrade and uh, one plus one upgrade to attack of Protoss. So really nice upgrades from Terror also, and he's able to reproduce so many units from these eight gateways. All Terror lost actually were the were the vultures. I don't think he lose he lost more than two tanks. Yeah, but now he's vulnerable to the. Uh, to the zealots so will dandy be oh nice status and right now Very this nice is opportunity to to break this army but i'm not sure to kill it but he's out of zealots so those dragons will 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 take a punishment yeah but he should be able to do it there are zealots coming so dandy was able to do it and just look at that nice uh, wall of mines in the middle of the map Terror's just sees and knows everything thanks to that. Yeah, and three Dragoons died to the mine. Every unit matter in this stage of the game. But in the meantime, then he managed to expand. He, yeah. He, he's got another expansion. He's actually... Uh, he's leading with two expansions. He's got two expansions more than his opponent. So that's, that's, that's slowly building up. Yeah, but... Now, right now, Terror is trying to punish this expansion, but there are only four tanks and and like one army of vultures are coming to the this uh, bottom left corner. Will it be enough? The Rydark Templars. Oh, so nice mind add that. Starport. The did add a starport, uh, but his armory is not spinning. He's not making any additional upgrades, and Terra needs that armory to spin constantly. Yeah, excellent focus fire by Dandy. He killed these tanks just to prevent this cannon from dying from the range upgrade then he needs to defend this expansion okay he may lose that 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 uh, that new one but he doesn't want to lose uh, everything that's up the ramp nice dark templar and look at the position of terror base three o'clock he don't care that then is uh, one kilometer away from him <laughs> but this is this is very sneaky because by Simply by doing those those two Dark Templars to defend, he is forcing his opponent to lose scans. And very very soon, if he pushes uh, more more for arbiters, uh, those scans will turn into resource itself. Because yes. he he will need those scans uh, to fight uh, in the in the main engagements, and he may not. Yeah, really them. nice point. That's true. This is this is also a longer like mind game. If you know that he have three command centers, you just need Especially to force his scans. He still doesn't have science vessels. He will soon, but not yet. Yeah, I, I was when you started to saying that I was I was checking if the vessel is ready, but it's not. So, how many scans is left for 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 Terror? It looks like uh, like 
seven, does, eight so scans for uh, now, but but when the battle will go, it's it's usually taking some time, so he needs few few scans for one battle for sure. And the battle is coming because Terror expanded on very vulnerable Fiocock expansion. He, yeah. is, he, he did re reinforce it, so it's not that easy to approach. He does have some turrets, so he will have visibility. But right now, this IOP they have only 38 XP, HP and he has full energy. So he one status. Oh, those tanks are not sieged up. Nice! Status. Oh my god, three statuses and all the tanks are. There are no tanks, there is a flank coming from the vultures, but they will not be able to do enough damage. Terror is going for that uh, for, for that top army. The army is much more important for him than the, the, than the expansion and Terror taps out 2-1. GG! Oh my god, it, after the first attack it looked like uh, Terror almost had it and when the second wave of unit Dandy came, he just... I've got Finish. to say that was one of the better stasis I saw in in a long time. That that those those six tanks they were they were all spread out and he yeah he 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 he, he, he froze them very very effectively. So right now this is the finals of loser bracket. Winner of this match will play against the world in the finals. So it will be also a really interesting match. But it is Tau Cross, so Dandy might have a difficult time here. Yeah, but this is really interesting to me that all the Terrans, when they are playing against Protoss, every Terran is choosing Tau Cross as a good map against Protoss. And I'm not sure why is that? Why is he was why is Terran are liking Tau Cross against Protoss so much? Well, if you would get a lucky spawn like six o'clock it is possible to drop drop tanks there well you could you can drop those tanks even on the one o'clock so yeah that's, yeah that this is not a symmetrical map so like for example terror spawn doesn't have that spot he's uh, well well he does but it's it's it, it is only lock, locking up gas so yeah, and we can see that Dandy is not sending his probe earlier just to make some sneaky gateway in the middle of the map. So we have opportunity to witness a normal opening <laughs> from both players. And at the same time, in the middle of the map, there are much there are much more places where you can just put your army behind a wall or behind uh, water, behind something that you can't cross. So. Uh, it is dif it is more difficult to f to outflank you in the middle of the map as a Terran, and that's always something you don't want to when when your army is is moving. You don't want to get get flanked, so uh, there is also that. Yeah, I'm sure they know what they're doing. They are both both best Terrans, one of the best Terrans in the scene right now. So also Cryok was was choosing the 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 Tau Cross. Tau Cryok is also one of the best Terrans. For sure, right now. And even as a protoss, even building a wall on this map is is a bit tricky, you know. It's... Yeah, you you can put only one supply in your entrance to the main, and you have perfect wall, but you can't come out. So it, it is a bit tricky, but at the same time, it is a free-player map, so uh, it it is a little bit uh, tighter. It, the, the the distances are are quite different than, than than all those four player maps or even or even bigger maps so yeah cybernetic score a standard opening from dandy and Tero is uh, is making the command center so this will be fast expansion before even uh, taking refinery before mining gas so he will put a bunker and try to defend uh, this expansion this is this is something what i call meta right now it looks like this is the standard. Exactly, but uh, something I very often saw on that map back in the day for, uh, for, from the protest players are DTs. So oh. we may that that would be something if if not scouted properly, it can kill you. It can kill you. So if Dandy will uh, will kill this STV in his main, he will be able to to, to make some some kind of dark templar strategies it worked for oh. for, uh, for the world 
Oh yeah, this is a bloody point. This is so bad mana. <laughs> well, it is a tournament for cash. There are no good good manners and bad manners in here. <laughs> yeah, this is so, so funny. This is this is the tournament. So we yeah, every 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 tactic is 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 viable. So if something is giving you value, why not to do it? He, is, he lost only 25 minerals for that and he kept this Diagon for such a long time in his base. Oh, he will he will expand. He yeah. Will expand. Because he's mining only one probe, a gas with only one, one probe, so he wants to gather money for, for the expansion. He wants to get 400 minerals as quickly as possible. Okay, and then he's sending those two Dragons in the... Uh, he should be sending maybe those those two dragons to his opponent's base because he wants to know what the what Theron is doing. He because if he expands, he he may end up with the same situation like he, like like in the first game uh, when when Theron uh, went aggressive after his expansion, and uh, he needs to know what is going on because Theron right now can go either defensive and focus on defense with 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 a tank with a uh, with a vulture, or he can just go for a quick push. Yeah, the try of scouting by Terror was excellent. He almost he he went through these two dragons, but third one catch him. It was one shot away from seeing what is going on in Protoss base. A very quick rotic facility. Will he go for a river, or will this just be an observer? And we can see Starport in Terror's base, so he wants to abuse these cliffs uh, and and maybe put some tanks over there just to avoid mining from second expansion. This is really nice strategy from from Terran. I think this. I thought that this is the reason why Terrans are choosing this map, but but there are also many more. As as we can see, you you mentioned some chat also mentioned some. So. So there are many reasons to put to take uh, Taukos as a Terran against Protoss. And some nice pressure on that bunker. This is always good. And Terror tried, is trying to sneak in on SCV. He will die. So yeah, right now, and uh, then he can do anything. And he's going for an observatory. I would, I, I hope he will go for a river. I would love to see a, a, a river here. But yeah, he will go for a. Uh... For a macro game, he's expanding on the three o'clock, uh, so it it may be it may be difficult with with the dropship coming. Yeah, he because he needs shuttle. The back put. And do you think he will put two tanks on this cliff, or he will try to sneak four vultures into the dandy's main to kill some probes? Hmm. Well, both bo both tactics are viable, really. Because but I think he would need, oh, he would need maybe two factories. Okay, there are two factories. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, he, well, he doesn't. He, he only have two vultures right now and a tank. So we may, we may see a mixture of that. Yeah, and look at the the dragons. They are waiting for this dropship to, dropship to come. Did he scout it? No, but I, I, bet, I guess he, he knows that there is a huge danger on this. Uh, of this cliff uh, taken by taken by Terran, so oh, he will go straight into the main. Oh, I think he will turn uh, around to the south right now. Oh, he's going straight to the main. Oh yeah. Oh, this is funny. Oh, he needs to take away those probes. A lot of probes still left. One died. Yeah, one died. All, all, only one died. So extremely good reaction from 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 Dandy. But then he does have an observer here, so those 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 mines will will be uh, wiped out very very quickly, and that's always uh, an annoying situation for a Protoss <gasps> when he has mines in his main base. He will catch the dropship. Excellent strategy by Dandy. Oh my God, this was so skillful. This is how you do it. That's a very big hit for Terror. It's a yeah. very big hit for Terror. But there are still two mines in the main, so uh, if if the probes will come back... <laughs> and the Zealot will come to visit them, oh, there will well. be bombastic from in, in the probe line. Yeah, this, this, this might be bad. <laughs> this might be bad, actually. But he... he I, 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 I thought he saw that though, those mines. I thought he saw them. Apparently not. Yeah, let's, and let's hope no units. 
Yeah, let's I'm hope he will not detonate his, his own probes. That would be hilarious and so difficult to show as a caster, so good luck to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will need to it like we will need to go to the replay and see these explosions because if the zealot would come over here, all the props would be dead for sure. Oh if this happens, yeah, we need to <laughs> we need to see that on the replay. But there so are three three dropships, so Tero is going for mass dropship style. And he might be trying to take this cliff. I'm not sure if you can put turret on this cliff. Oh, we have Abyssu tactics on the mines. So very nice. Then he did it. He killed two mines without observer. Yeah, this is really hard thing to do. This is one of the hardest thing to do in Starcraft um, after killing the Scourges with Mutalisks. Oh, then he's putting a cannon in the mine. So. And the cliff <laughs> is taken. Oh my god, so many units. It is impossible without any Arbiter to, but to take it. Then he does have a shuttle. Then he does have a shuttle. But, but look how many marines. units. Yeah, there are Marines and there is Whoa. SCP. Those those Marines surprise me. So Answer might be counter attack. He may need to... Well, he does have an expansion of your clock, so it's it, it, it's not like he's back. He's, he's, he's losing in economy because he does have an expansion. One more expansion than his opponent. He's losing a shuttle. Yeah, but these tanks unsieged kill the zealots, and right now they can kill the Nexus easily. So this ma this base will be not mining for uh, for a long time. Okay, then the and then this reaction is very very nice. Uh, he will abandon this expansion. He will expand somewhere else, and uh, yeah, he he will probably wait for this. He doesn't want to lose it, but if he loses that Nexus, it's it's not that bad. It may be much worse if he decides to break that that campaign, so it may not be worth it. If he can just expand somewhere else, then that's yeah, also good. Yeah, he can, but he oh, also is losing Diagons. Oh, that mine! Ooh. Yeah, that mine would hurt this Diagon a lot. Why did it blow out? It, it was out of range, really? Yeah, it was a little, a really close. I think it was like a pixel or something. <laughs> okay, there are many vultures coming down. If you want to deny that expansion or kill that fear clock. Yeah, maybe if you want cannon, to snipe. There's a lot of vultures. Yeah, two dragons and one cannon will not be able to kill 12 vultures. And Nexus in the natural is down. A lot of mines, just to have scouting, just to have vision, and just to intercept some units if they would try to go with this bridge. Well, then he definitely have too many probes right now. Terror knows this, so he wants to catch that uh, those those probes when they will be transiting to to the bottom of the map. That would be perfect for that for, for those vultures. It will not be easy. So yeah, the cliff mission was a success. He can go down. But he needs an expansion. There needs to expand. But right now he's in the same amount of expansion as Protoss, and he has fairly limited advantage. So this is the huge advantage for Terran. Oh, he's committed to the cliff. And he does not have leg speed to the to the to the zealots. He have six dragons on the six o'clock position. He really needs them to defend uh, this push from Terran. Well, maybe, maybe he will, maybe the upgrade will kick in in time, let's see. Without it, he will need to back off. He doesn't, oh, the probes. Oh, and the probes transfer. Four probes, four probes. There are more on the bottom, but yeah. No, no zealot speed. GG. GG. 3-1 for their gun. Yeah, really convincing win. Great job for Tegor. He managed to revenge. He lost. He lost in the winner bracket, but then he won in uh, in loser bracket. And now the finals will be Tewold versus Tegor. And the champion of Peru was decided. The champion of Peru was decided, so we'll have a grand final of this long, long tournament. Yeah, long tournament with a lot of great games and 
so now we will see Tego versus the world in the finals and winner of that that will will be king of the bombs so extremely important title if you want to achieve something in Starcraft. something you can put on your cv <laughs> definitely uh, <laughs> this is going to be amazing especially considering how good the world gets when he's playing in the tournaments because many people always say okay mm, when i was watching uh, someone stream their ladder games he lost against this guy he lost against that guy uh, like like they often say that that the world is not that good when they watch him play ladder but when it comes to tournaments, the world is a beast. He's really playing his best in tournaments. So, uh, he showed us that time and time and again. So he showed us, but this is also a good um, motivation for him, I believe. He's maybe he's not showing his, his strategies on ladder, and and he's trying to to keep them for tournaments. Well, it is something in the mindset of those players, you know, m many players just get that uh, that special mindset that when there is a lot of, uh, when, when there is a weight to the match, not just a ladder play, yeah. their focus just goes 200% and, and they can they can bring out, out the best of them. So yeah, uh, other players get, get, get stressed out, but the world is not one of them. So this will be very, very interesting. And let's not forget that usually for the world, when he plays in the tournament finals, it is very, very late for him. Right now it is pretty standard hour. We always uh, say that it's for for European tournaments, for most uh, of the tournaments he is playing, they're always ending very, very late. Yeah, yesterday when we was uh, stopping streaming, it was like 9 p.m. Uh, it was like 6 a.m. on on the world um, time. So so right now I'm sure that this is really late, but not as late like yes. Well, right it's... now it's 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 12 o'clock for him. It's it's midnight. Oh. Oh, that's not, uh, so not, not, not that bad. It is late, but it is it is much earlier than he's used to playing in 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 StarCraft tournaments. So uh, that will that. That this is all also playing uh, a big role for him. That he's rested and yet he's ready. It's not like I remember when we when we were playing the 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 Italian uh, the Italian qualifiers. It was like six or five a.m. and he was he was uh, typing on chat, guys. I have to go to work. Come on. <laughs> yeah, play all day, play all night and work all day. This is how Stagger players' life is looking. Exactly. Like. 